Welcome to Reg and Ruby's Snacks Haven, where people just can't get enough of their burgers. What makes them unique? Not their beef, their lettuce or their pickles, it's their secret sauce. The recipe for this sauce is Snacks Haven's most precious possession. As Reg and Ruby start to open Snacks Haven stores around the world, a clever consultant appears who says she can substantially grow the company's global profits. What about charging foreign Snacks Haven branches a fee to use the secret sauce recipe? After all, that's what makes the burgers so valuable. It's not great news for the foreign governments. This secret sauce fee means less money stays behind to contribute to services like healthcare and education. But the foreign profits will still be taxed in Snacks Haven's home country, where the secret sauce comes from, right? Maybe not. The clever consultant tells Reg and Ruby to take a copy of the secret sauce recipe and fly it to a place where there's no tax on company profits. She will look after the rest. After their trip, it's business as usual. But when tax time arrives, authorities want to know where all the money from Snacks Haven's thriving international business has gone. Reg and Ruby produce a note from the clever consultant to explain why their profits and their tax bill look so small. The foreign Snacks Haven branches pay fees to use the foreign secret sauce recipe, not the original recipe. The income from those fees is in a tax haven and is not here to be taxed. By shifting the intellectual property, the secret recipe, to a tax haven, the clever consultant has dramatically reduced the taxable income of Snacks Haven's foreign branches without increasing its taxable income at home. Global profits for Reg and Ruby balloon. But the foreign countries are left with less tax money to build hospitals and schools, and so long as the profits stay in the tax haven, Hospitals and schools in Snacks Haven's home country also lose out. All over town, the clever consultant is one step ahead of the authorities with similar intellectual property tax haven schemes for other companies. And it isn't just at the burger restaurants. What about a charge for using a company's logo? Or for the technology that drives a smartphone app? The possibilities are endless. The products stay the same, but while the businesses flourish and profits grow, governments are left in a bit of a pickle. 